Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Volcano Velocity insert into any intake manifold that has the Volcano system interface machined into the plenum floor. In addition to the intake with the machining, you need the Velocity insert. These are made in the USA and anodized CNC machine. You need a seal and the lock screw. Every Volcano manifold system comes with a Made in USA hex driver for the lock screw. In addition, you're going to want a uh, 6 inch extension with a 5 8 or other 6 point spark plug socket. A sharpie makes it easier along with a short ratchet and a dab of oil. What you do first is you take the velocity insert and you put the extension on there with the socket. No o-ring or set screw yet, this is just a dry run. I like to turn it backwards a little bit till you feel it so that it's aligned. If you can't screw it in by hand without a ratchet then it's not aligned correctly so don't cross thread it please now once you get it to the end you're going to back it up up to a half turn that's why there's two threaded holes for the lock screw in addition to symmetry so the airflow is even so you just back it up until it'll until it aligns which you don't i guess have to do that yet because it's just a dry run and put a little dot where this lock screw is going to go once you have that, just unscrew it. In this case, I only had to back it up a tiny bit. Now you know where the lock screw is going to go. Take the hex driver, slip it through there. Take the lock screw, put it on. This is where you're going to back it into the velocity insert. You have to back it in because until it's under flush because this hole is not tapped all the way through. This is a safety precaution so that if this screw ever comes loose or wasn't tightened right, it won't fall in your engine and the seal, that's just like an oil filter seal, should prevent it from coming loose anyway. So now you put the seal in there. At this point, it's ready to install. I like to put a very small dab of oil into the, uh, not too much, into the sealing surface just like an oil filter because you don't want it to catch you want the oil the o-ring seal to slide it also helps with removal later if you're going to be installing this long term I like to put a dab of anisees on those threads so let's put this in there so now you get to align the threads again and screw it in by hand until it contacts the o-ring and now you can see that the set screw needs to go quarter to three quarters of a turn till it aligns with that indicator which is right next to the pilot hole for the set screw so now we're going to take the ratchet and tighten it that distance Till it lines up. Once it's lined up, which you can see right there, then we take the hex driver and tighten the set screw down until it's in the pilot hole. Now we know it's done and it's ready to go. So if you want to swap that out, try a different size, add nitrous oxide, integral nitrous oxide. You just take this out, loose, back the set screw out till it stops, till it gets to the end of the threads, and then loosen this till you can unscrew it by hand, and you're done. What this does is it helps the airflow when it hits the plenum floor. It's kind of like a wall down there, and this curved surface helps the airflow go into the runners and into the cylinder heads. And that's what makes more power and torque and better drivability. Thank you very much.